What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of my GTA Vice City playthrough. I believe this is episode 7. Uh, so my apologies for the hiatus, you know what I'm saying? Um, I had a recent death in the family, you know, a close family member passed away, so... You know, I had to take a little quick break from doing this, but, you know, now... We're back at it, you know what I'm saying? So, here we go. All right, right now we're gonna go back to Diaz's mansion. You know what I'm saying? Since on the last episode we were doing missions for Diaz, but you know what? Let me do something spontaneous. Let me just pick up the phone right here. My compliments on a job well done, Mr. Teal. My client was very pleased. I have more work for you with a more hands-on approach. Your next job is taped onto the phone. What's up, King? Waste the wife, eh? All right, so there's this lady that I gotta kill. So pretty much, the task is simple. You gotta kill her in whichever way you can. She's gonna be in a car, a Comet, I believe. And you can ram her car with your car, uh, shoot it with your gun, whatever, you know what I mean? As long as you can make it explode and kill her, then you're good to go. And I'm still Maurice Chavez. All right, let's get it. Hi. Next up on pressing issues, we tackle one of the most important issues in our country today. The See the trick is to get up close, don't alert her, and let off with your with your Uzi. Person. Let it spray. How we perceive the world? These are optimistic times we're living. A time of oh no! You can't shoot her. All right, let me try that again. I guess you can only ram her. That sucks. All right. That's frustrating. I also caught that on, on film too, like, I'm gonna keep that in though, you know, to make it realistic. Cause I failed that for real, I'm gonna keep that in. Waste of wife. Alright, let's get it. Attempt number two. Let me get in that whip right quick, man. Yeah, let me get into like a big car, you know what I mean? I'll have, e I'll have an easier time ramming into her with this. Radio station and say, Fernando, are you bilingual? And I say, I try anything once. I hope you are having a powerful day filled with love. I wonder if I can just like push her into the ocean or whatever. Let's take a break. Just like get her to drown. Because I don't want to just be like following behind her, ramming her all day, you know what I mean? Oh my god. I want to see if I can actually like make her go off the ledge somewhere. I can't really control the direction in which she goes though, so that's annoying. Maybe I can push her off the bridge. There's like railings on the bridge though. Oh my god! Oh, right there. Oh, nah, 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 nah. That's not it. My car is also really slow, so... It's like a potato in terms of speed, so... No, but I'm doing my thing, though. Her car is thoroughly damaged. Bow. There we go. And now, let me get up out of here. All right. A clean two thousand dollars. That was a very clean two K. Let's go. I wonder if I can call a cab to Starfish Island now. Let me try that. All right. I can, sweet. All right, let's go and do the next Diaz mission. These missions pay so much. Let me tell you.
That's so pleased with yourself now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, what are you waving at me? No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> You're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah! pigeons are back. Loki, I actually love like the boat or water related missions in this game because back in the day in this game You can't swim. So if you jump in the water, you're dead So any type of mission that involves any kind of water has like an added le level of difficulty. You know what I mean? So today we're gonna steal the fastest boat in all of Vice City It'll just be down here by the shipyard and there's gonna be a bunch of dudes uh, with like semi-automatics guarding it so we're just gonna man I cannot drive man that was terrible You know what, man? Let me be a real G and let me grab the Mac 10. I know I have the Uzi on me, but TBH, I prefer the Mac 10 because you can run, you can sprint uh, and shoot at the same time, which is nice. All right, here we go. Catch him slipping with the Mac 10. Oh, yeah. I'm a quick draw, that's right. Can't do nothing. Ooh. So that's the boat that I need to steal. Clapping these cheeks, man. I'm telling you, the Mac 10 is the way to go. And these guys have just the hammer. Ah! Don't sleep on the hammer, yo. It's underrated. Who's shooting at me? There's like one person left. I don't know where they are. There you are. Got me good too, man. Took me down to 69 armor. That's annoying. Anyways, let me lower this boat. And then we can uh, sail out of here. Oh my god. Insane. These guys are insane. They caught me by surprise for sure. Did not see that coming at all. I got him though. See, that's why it's important to have a bunch of armor. And the police on to me. Great. Friggin' cops. Alright, man. Luckily, though, the mansion is right down this way. It's not too far away. So I added a target island mod. So there's like an island right here. That's something, you know, you don't have to watch out for if you play the vanilla version of the game. You can just drive straight and you'll reach the mansion. Four thousand dollars. That's what I'm talking about. It's sick, bruh. It's real sick, bruh. See, Diaz will give you the shebang, the dollars, you know what I mean, when you do the Diaz missions. Phone call, eh? Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. Ah, that guy. Alright, let me go pick up the next Diaz mission here. I have enough health and armor for the next one, right? Without replenishing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think this is the last mission uh, before I have to take over. To Spoilers. Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Oh. Oh. Bro, you! It is my favorite Alburo movie. It died. That's pretty what extreme. What else can I do? 
It's probably not plugged in. What? <laughs> He's such a Dang. goof, man. No matter. You can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here. Okay? Man spreading. All right, we're going to go into the pink sphere by the jetty. And uh, that's going to trigger another cutscene. This next cutscene here is so cinematic, like, it's the best thing ever. Let me guess. You thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there. Y'all like my water mod, though? Like, the water mod makes it so much better. Tough guy crap. But I know one day, I'm going to save your ass, and you're probably going to want to kiss me. This is actually one of my favorite missions because uh, it combines two elements of the game, right? Like you get to drive your boat and then you get to shoot later on from the boat. So it's super exciting. It's very fast paced and it's kind of like a combination of stuff you already did before, you know, in the previous missions. Ah, uh, no, do not flip my boat, please. This game has a huge issue with that. Like if you're boat gets into the air and it flips you're done you're just dead Ooh. almost there let's do it Alright, so now comes the easy part, see? I find this, the shooting part, to be so much easier than uh, the boat part, because I'm not very good at driving boats. Or just driving in general, for that matter. Uh, but yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm fucking this guy up real bad. Weather is getting kind of rainy. Lots of rain. I think there's going to be a helicopter coming up real soon. Gunman on the jetty, eh? Oh, right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. These guys tore me up. Look at my health go down. Like, I did not play that well. Let's do it. Eat lead. More trouble up ahead, eh? Check out my semi auto strap. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, bow, bow. See, the thing, the trick about this one is you don't want to blow up this boat because you're driving right beside it, and if it blows up, your boat's going to catch on fire and you're going to die. So, very important on this last one you do not, do not, do not blow up the boat. Here we go. Good shooting, my friend. You're a real proper, proper grade A lunatic. lunatic. Well, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Lance Vance Dance. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Ten thousand dollars. Isn't that something? You know what I mean? Like Diaz gives you the utmost amount of money when you complete the Diaz missions. Let me tell you. You know what I mean? Alright folks, so I did three different missions uh, in this game so far, you know, for this particular Let's Play episode. Um, so I think I'm just going to hold off on the remainder of the missions here. And I'm just going to display, uh, like, demonstrate some of the features that I added to the game that wasn't in the vanilla version, you know. So this is probably a great opportunity for that. So right now, I'm going to demonstrate um, how to use the taxi. So you can, like, uh, damn it, let me get this phone call real quick. In the middle of something, what do you want? Nothing. Just to say, you know, look, Tommy, we can do this thing. You and me, no problem. You know what I mean? 
Huh? We're going to have to do it, because otherwise we're going to be dead, Lance. We're in too far now. Thanks for the call. Speak to you later. All right, so back to what I was talking about. So if you want to call the cab in this version of the game, first you got to beat the second mission, Back Alley Brawl. And then once you obtain the phone, uh, you'll be able to press look behind. Sorry, not look behind. I think it's... I have it mapped to like L2 on my controller, but um, one of the buttons is sprint, and the other one I think is like the action key. Yeah, like action key when you change a weapon or whatever, like with another weapon, when you get to like another pickup, you know what I mean? Like a pickup of the same weapon type, I mean, and you want to like switch or replace your weapon. So that button, your action key plus your sprint, and this will activate, you know, the taxi. You know what I'm saying? And then once you get into the taxi, um, you know, you have your mission, your menus, sorry, you know what I mean? And then, yeah, you just press a button that you want, um, and it'll take you to, you know, where you need to go. Alright, so I'm going to go to the mall right quick. Alright, man, now I'm at the mall. I'm going to go switch my clothes. I'm going to grab food first, actually. Some food, pal. Ariba, enjoy your bandito, hombre. Ariba. All right, man. So now, what am I gonna do? Did I do the rampage this in here? I think I did. But anyways, let me change clothes. I want to wear something fresh. You know what I'm saying? So I could go and dance at the mall. Hmm. Sorry, there we go. Sorry. All right, y'all, let's do it. What? There we go. All right, y'all, let me bust through this glass and let me get up out of here. You know what, let me show you guys the transit system. So I added a bus route to this game as well. And uh, I think there's like five bus stops that it circulates between. Um, but yeah, you know, it's another way for you to get around uh, the game if you don't want to drive or if you don't want to use a taxi. It is much cheaper than a taxi and as well, it will give you health experience. All right. Here we go. So you can ride the bus as well. Yeah, and I added this like little animation, you know what I mean? Where like um, you get on the bus and then the bus like drives to the location and then stops. So what I should have done um, is made the bus drive away. But yeah, like at the time I was lazy with the coding. So I just made the bus like remain stationary while you got out. So. Not very neat, but also like it gives you an opportunity to have a bus if you want to steal the bus and you know drive a bus around. I think in this game, you know, you don't have many opportunities to like drive a bus around, so yeah, like putting this in was like a good way to you know get people to try that out. Why am I talking like I'm gonna release the game to the public? Maybe I will, you know. Um, shout outs to this user that's consistently in the comments for the last couple of videos asking for this version of the game um, like I didn't in plan on releasing it to the public or anything initially um, because of like you know copyright constraints and things like that so uh, I'm gonna look into if it's a possibility to you know get that sorted out maybe I can release just my modded files and not like post the entire game directory fully you know because that's probably illegal um, yeah, but I'm gonna try to look into that and I'm gonna see if I can share my version of the game with you guys, you know? Because this is really truly like so much fun. Alright, let me show you more of the uh, transit system here. So yeah, it's, it goes in like a, a circle. It's like a cycle. It cycles through five different locations. So right now I'm in like downtown Vice City. And, uh, oh wow, I just leveled up, and that took me to, this is like the Cuban area, Havana, but yeah, 
you can just like ride the bus indefinitely if you want to uh, if you're trying to like farm that health experience but I think it costs five dollars per bus ride so yeah you gotta make sure you got the dough but you know if you've been doing your missions you know you've been doing your rampages then it really shouldn't be a problem and this location is right behind the Ocean View Hotel very convenient I try to put uh, the bus stops like near your safe houses so it kind of like makes practical sense to ride the bus you know because it actually gets you to certain locations that you need to go to and this is Rosenberg's office you know what uh, I'm gonna end this episode here I'm gonna buy this property Why is it raining so much ep this episode? Anyways, thank you all so much for watching today's GTA Vice City playthrough. You know what I'm saying? And uh, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be posting more of these. You know, uh, I'm going to try to do these every weekend. So yeah, you know, I I'm loving like playing Vice City, man. It's bringing back so much nostalgia. So I'm definitely going to be posting more. Alright, peace and love, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, until next time.